All right, folks. How does everything sound here? Everything sounds decent-ish. Okay. So, proper intro time. Howdy, folks, and welcome back to the Flying T-Bar. See, it is Strider Day today, and we are getting started again with Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. It is the desert map, so we might be here a minute or two. So let's go ahead and, well, hang on, we're not going to get fully started yet. I need to open something up real quick. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to get fully started. Wait. Oh, okay, there we go. I thought my audio was messed up there for a second. So, last time around, um, we hadn't really done any supports. However, I'm going to start trying to focus on supports. Um, Leth and Jill is actually phenomenal, so I'm going to have them talk to each other. Um, can I help you? I, I have a question. Is that all right? Depends on what you're going to ask. Why don't have free? No, that's not right. Why don't Lagoos use weapons? We Lagoos are born rigged. Weapons are something you Carlos the Orc created to counter our claws. We have no use for them. I, I see. Is that all you wanted to ask? Um, no, there's more. Why do you detest us humans so much? That's a good question, but I want to hear your answer first. Why do Bjork hate the Lagoos? It's because the half the Lagoos are our enemy. Enemy. If that's the case, we hate you too, as we hate all our enemies. We're done here. Wait. Um. Yeah! Yeah! Hurrah! What's up, Terra Pulse? Whew, that's enough for today. I just don't feel into it. Maybe I'll take a quick nap. Done already, Boyd? Huh? Um, yeah! Yeah! Oh, Titania, I didn't see you there. I'm training so hard that... Huh? <laughs> who the... Missed! Oh, what a jerk. Hey, you're the one who tried to blow off training. If you keep ignoring your drills, I'm going to become a better mercenary than you. Better than me? Ha! Ha! Dream on, kid. You've got some nerve saying that to me. Kid, you better remember who my father is. Fighting ability runs in the blood, you know. Ah, that's a bunch of hooey. Survival on the battlefield depends on experience and luck, nothing more. If you dive into battle with conceited attitude, you'll end up dead no matter what your blood is in your veins. Gee, sorry, Boyd. I was just joking. Hey, don't look so angry. This is no game. We don't fight for fun. Now get out of here. I mean it. You're in my way. Sorry. Miss, wait. Ah, heck. Um. Really don't know. Who else I really want to do that with? Um, we already awarded what experience I wanted to, right? Yes, because I'm very low on fitness experience. Outfitting wise, everybody's looking halfway decent. Rook has a Vulnery, and Soth has a Vulnery. Alright, we're gonna leave the base. Tell me, Swan, are you alright? Hmm? 
Recently, ever since we reached Benyon, in fact, you've seemed depressed. Is, is that so? How odd. Well, I can think of nothing specific that's bothering me. Well, if you say so. So, it's time for the desert. Which is the di best direction to enter from? Sorry. Eh? Yes, what is it? Alright, I know there's something going on. I'm, I'm sorry. I was thinking. What is it you wanted? Well, I was going to ask you for, direct for directions. But it's no longer necessary. Looks like we're being met. Ah! Who are you? Answer me. We're mercenaries. We were hired to take care of a group of bandits operating in this area. More of the senator's dogs. He casts us as thieves so you can murder us and hide your guilt. But we will not be defeated. Mark my words, the day will come when all slaves are free, and then you will pay for your crimes. What on earth are you going are you talking about? No more useless words. Come, my brothers, take them. What? We're facing like ooze? I don't like the look of this. Like ooze or no, it doesn't change the fact that they're brigands. Do not lower your guard. I know what I'm doing. Everyone, watch your footing in the sand. Take care and fight well. Marcia, Marcia and Makalov go bye bye. Soth and Volk join the fray. Okay, luckily I actually have the map for that. So that we can do some treasure hunting. So first and foremost, one, two, three, four. Get two excuse scores. Go up in this corner. Is there a unit we can recruit? Do we have to use any dudes to do it? And then there's a white gem over here. Statue frag down this area. Physic kind of over here. It's kind of on top of the thorn. Boots is further north, shine, guard, super guard, and another corner. So, treasure hunting also is based off of the skill stat. Ike. Is the big one. So Ike, maybe Jill, Wolf. So Soren and my two thieves are gonna be the best ones for trying to find stuff. Reposition, we want that. Oh, So I'll send over for the statue frag. Then everybody else will just kind of move around and keep going and stuff. Uh, items. Does anybody have the Lagoon's lights? Oscar does. So Oscar, Boyd, and Maya. Are going to be the big ones. Uh -oh. There we go. 
I managed to forgot to get that clicked over. Other repositioning. You know, I'll screw all the way up here. But honestly, I actually can't use that like this. Oh wait, we had the lag of this one. Yes. Convoy. He can't use it, so never mind. Alright, let's get this. Just kind of open this. Yes, sand levels do indeed suck. Oh, so that coin should be somewhere right in here. So many legos.
Mm. No one square of movement. Four, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. I'll actually send Soren this way. Hey, found the coin. Uh -oh. I hate to do this, but I gotta. Okay, so physics is open to the right over here, so it's going to go that way. These rocks mark out coin right below it, and this is a red dragon coin right up there, so we're going in the right direction. Found the guard skill. Poor Gaytree. Okay. Just, I guess, nuke him, sorry. Thing. I'll send Jill up here. One, two, three, four. So right in there. Should add me to physics. Yep. Oh. 
Ouch. I mean, there you go, Oscar. Soren some freaking XP. Physic. Let's get your butt up here. Okay, so now... Okay, found the silver blade. Okay. Mordecai, go do your thing over here. Jill. Okay, I mean, not a great level up, but I can deal. Terrible level up for that. He's probably going to 
transfer on the next turn. Okay, not an absolutely terrible thing. So we will go ahead and actually set that up. So we'll pull that one in. Rolf, do your thing. Gotta get him levels up. Decent level up. I mean, I don't know why magic went up, but you know what? I'll deal. The middle square. Done. 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 So we need to get up there, kind of where the school is. God, what a guy. One, two, three. One, two, three. So that means should be that square. Right? Okay, got the statue frag. Soren, get your butt going this way. Oh, hey, there you go, Oscar. Thanks for the help.
Okay, so that's all the lower stuff, so I just need to make sure I come up here and get the boots. And then over here is character recruit and a white champ. Okay, Soren, what you got? What you got for me? I didn't actually see that level up because I looked away from my screen. Right. Finish that one off. Then we'll start learning about these other ones. We can use Oscar to lure out the next one. Should use the volume here though. No, oh, it actually was a one hit KO. Well, there you go, Oscar. You know what? At least it was a decent stat. It, <laughs> you look. Boyd is almost there, and then I can use one of the master crowns on him. So it's all but that way. Jill, all but this way. Mordecai, halfway, all but that way. We got the shine, we got the silver blade. So honestly, Volk is just gonna. I mean, he might clink at something for me. transform very quickly. He's got an item. The demi band.
Okay, that should be that spot. Yep. Mm hmm. Hmm. I sense something. Must be my imagination. A female cat? Splendid. I've not seen your face in these parts before. Ah! Where did you come from? Oh, I see. I've s I see that I've startled you. My apologies. Who are you? If you wish to learn someone's name, isn't it polite to introduce yourself first? <sighs> I am Leth from Gallia. And I am Stefan. I live here in this desolate wasteland, playing it being a hermit. Is that so? Well, don't let me interrupt your life. Oh no, please don't worry about it. Well, I won't. And what? Why are you standing there staring at me? I'm fascinated with Gallia's beast tribes. Fascinating. Or, I'm interested in Gallia's beast tribes. Fascinating, really. I have an idea. Can we go somewhere and talk? I don't think so. Why not? My company companions and I are in the middle of a battle. I have no time to chit chat with you. Very well. Then I will help you. And once this battle is finished, you'll have time to converse, yes? I suppose, perhaps. Right, off we go then. What sort of lunatic have I found now? You found my favorite character, Leth. Stefan is awesome. Got a badass sword. Yep. Stefan is amazing. Yep, blame the signal at home. Yeah, I figured the cell signal was what was messing with you because I mean all the other stuff that I've been using works just fine. <laughs> so if I go that way, I've been working on moving bulk up to the boots. The only thing I'm worried about is that cat. But we'll lure him out. I'm not trying to kill him. Because that'll get Boyd a little bit of XP. And then Nevene can stabby stab him. Maya really hasn't gotten a lot of connection this game. We can fix that though. I'm working on it, okay? It's taking a minute. Cat, come up and attack monster. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah, call him the white gem. Thing. Lord, we've got to get him a little bit of XP. Soar and go boom. Just up here in this corner should be the base. Okay. That's a terrible hit chance. Okay. Yeah. Wanna make sure I can move a bunch of people in to attack all at once. Okay, so Sauron pops up. My companions and I are not thieves. I sh I'm sure you can not care less. Actually, Sauron, that's going to be a very handy thing that you just did. And what? You're so young. I'm not scared of you. It doesn't matter if you're a lagoose. An enemy is an enemy. Please stop. Why are young cubs like you on the battlefield? Why? Holy crap, Void is the only one who's not going to end up suffering like a double freaking crit or some crap. Hmm. Equip that. And then we'll see who I want to fish his XP too.
boys back up. And we'll finish it. Resist no further. Take me with me. Take me with you or execute me here. I care not. Well, my companions, would you let them go? Please. No, I won't allow it. Huh? I won't let you take them arm. Uh, stay back, little one. You're not supposed to expose. If you want more arm, you'll have to kill me first. Your... Yes, he is a Bjork child. They claimed him when he was little more than a bit. He has nothing to do with us subhumans. Stop lying. I'm here because I want to be. Who's the leader of the Lagoon's like, Emancipation Army? I am. You're a big jerk, Marm, trying to cover for everyone and get yourself killed. I won't allow it. Well, hey, I don't care who the real leader is. The Lagoon's who called himself a subhuman is protecting a kidnapped Bjorg who claims to lead in the Lagoon's Emancipation Army. Do I have that right? Because if I do, I have absolutely no idea what any of you are talking about. Or do I have that right? Because if I do, I have absolutely no idea what any of you are talking about. Would someone please tell me what is going on here? Alright, please go over that again. It's been customary throughout Benyon's history to keep Lagoos as slaves. That's right. But that's in the past now. 20 years ago, all slavery was outlawed and all Lagoos were freed. And, and as far as the general public is concerned, that is exactly what happened. So, there's a portion of society that willingly breaks the law. The commoners obey, but there are still many Lagoose slaves in the homes of nobles. Marm and I brought this to the attention of the senators, but they would not listen. That's why we gathered other fighters. We'll break into the homes where slaves are kept and help them escape. Of course, the nobles can't let this be known publicly, so they brand us thieves and turn us into wanted outlaws. Alright, I think I understand your motives. We are not going to solve the basic problem this way. We know that, but we can't give up and leave them in chains. We can't and we won't. Do you mind if I try to help? Huh? This sort of Bjork behavior is something that's been bothering me. I think there may be something I can do. Sala, stop this foolishness. Where are you taking me? Tell me. It's only a little further. I'll tell you once we've arrived, just as I promised. I left no word with Tabarn. If I had known you were coming this far, I would have left a message. Here we are. This is what I wanted to show you. Look below you, Ryson. What do you see? What? What is this? How is this possible? What happened here? This is Serenus? Is that what is that? Or is this what you're trying to tell me? This colorless vista, these cracked and withered branches, these lifeless trees. This is my forest? So, believe it or not, I don't think I can actually read it, but that's actually supposed to be just cursive backwards. But they style it enough to where it's actually kind of hard to see. Or it's pig Latin or something like that. It's actually, but it's... Like, it is translatable. The ancient tongue. It's been many years since I heard it last. You can still speak it. The voice of the forest is still. Why? 
how did this it's been like this since your clan's been gone the area near the entrance is especially bad they used fire most of the trees are dead unforgivable how how can you do things like this cursed humans what did this forest do what did my clan do humans hold all lagoon in contempt and in the same way they hold all of nature in contempt as well they think everything exists for their pleasure and betterment. They're beneath contempt. Misala, it appears I have misjudged you. I called you a groveling toady to humans and labeled you, labeled you a traitor. It was overly harsh. I apologize. Not to worry. I engage in occasional commerce with humans. That much is true. A more pressing issue is the growing darkness. You can return to Phoenicia's tomorrow, can you? I am certain that some noble has a villa in the area. At this time of year, it's almost certain to be empty. I suggest we borrow it for the evening. You would sleep in a human building? Think about it. Bird folk like you and I have no night vision whatsoever. If we were tra if we were discovered by humans, they would surely overwhelm and capture us, right? Hmm. I see your point. Very good. I will stumble around until I find something to eat. Please, make yourself comfortable. Nasala. Yes? Thank you for everything you've done. I, I appreciate it. Don't be ridiculous. We're old friends, are we not? Right you are, old friend. Uh, is everything in place? Yes, that Duke Tennis cannot sit still. He is literally quivering. In anticipation. It's not pretty. I bet it isn't. Just see, make sure that mountain of suet stays hidden. If Ryson catches so much as a glimpse of his bulk, he will take wing. Understood. Now, time to put up the finishing touches. This too, I do to raise up Kildas. Ryson, please don't judge me too harshly. That being said, I'm sure you will. Oh, well, such is life. Enjoy your new one, old friend. Miss Allah, you are such an asshole. <laughs> Chapter 16, The Atonement. What is this? Who are you? What have you done with Nesal? Oh, oh, this, this is something everyone should see. There can be no doubt. I gaze upon the last living wonder of the Serenus royalty. Those golden locks, witness how they gather in the morning sun and multiply its brilliance. This gentle luster of those argent wings manifest proof of royalty as I'm sh as sure as I am alive. Magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. A true work of art wrought in flesh and feather. All of this beauty, mine. The fortune I paid the Raven King seems like a pittance compared to this treasure. What? Nesala sold me? To you? Oh, ho, 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 ho. You are exquisite even in rage. Now if you behave yourself, I'll grant you a little life of luxury. Ow, my nose. My beautiful nose. Bishop Oliver, Oliver, you winged freak, you'll pay for that. No, you mustn't harm him. You mustn't ruffle a single feather of those gorgeous wings. My beauty, you mustn't be frightened. In time, you will come to see how kind and charitable of a master I can be. This is madness. Oh, so, so frightening. How delicious. But I fear we must now be separated for a short while. Lord of servants, attend my words. You must not raise a hand to this one. Prepare his meals with care and do not disturb his rest. I would not see his countenance marred by displeasure. Herons, you see, are such delicate things. And, and then, at the proper time, yes, the proper time, when will it be? I say to you, those haunty senators and their ilk have looked down at their noses at me for the last time. I shall show them all. Oh, but I must have a grand stage, one where none can fail to see me. The Saturnus Royals are creatures of legend. When I arrive with one at my side, I can hardly wait to see Dugatus' face. 
Oh, 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 you wretch. Curse your eyes. How dare you do this to me? I've brought him. Well done, Ike. I shall see that you are well rewarded. Where's your usual entourage? I see only two of your holy guard. Oh, there was some sort of disturbance. I think they're clearing away the rabble. But on to business. Is that one there the ringleader of the thieves? Why, he's nothing but a child. Has he offered up any defense for his deplorable actions? We are no thieves. We are trying to free the Lagoos that those filthy aristocrats from the captivity. What manner of absurd fairy tale is this? In the year Ben Yon 624, Apostle Mi Misaha, my honored grandmother, emancipated every last Lagoon slave. In accordance with her law, today there is not a single slave to be found in all of the Ben Yon Empire. You lie. Countless noble houses even now keep Lagoons as servants, or entertainment, or worse. In the Senate, those vast windbags grant tactic approval by doing nothing. That's enough. I told you to keep your to keep a cool head. But... Ike, why ever would you bring such an ill-mannered rogue to meet me? What is it you're planning? If anyone's planning something, it's you. Really? And what could you possibly mean by that? The last mission showed us the slave trade, and now you've put us in contact with an underground emancipation camp. From the very beginning, I found this whole arrangement a you have more vassals than you can use, yet you hire us for these missions. Your motivations have me puzzled. Oh, I see. And have you solved this puzzle of yours? You want to expose the depravity of the inner circles of power. But you don't want the general public to know that the majority of the Senate isn't involved in slavery. And to think, I thought you were as untutored as a wild monkey. You're actually quite bright. I didn't figure it out by myself. I have companions with whom I trusted my life. They helped. Hey, hold it. What in the word are you talking about? Would someone like to explain this to me? The Apostle is aware of like you slavery. On top of that, it appears she intends to do something about this problem. Are you serious? I am. However, whether I succeed or fail depends largely on what you do next. So be it. I think it's time you told us about the next job you have lined up for us. I've received reports that Bishop Oliver, the Duke of Tannis, is up to something suspicious. Duke Tannis has a villain near the woods of Saranus. Go there and return with irrevocable proof of... whatever he's doing. If you succeed in this, I promise to support your Princess Alencia with all the power at my command. We'll bring you back whatever information is you're looking for. Be ready for us. Ike, I'd like to report the results of our last battle. There were no deaths and no injuries beyond our... Beyond our capa uh, capabilities to heal, everyone performed exceedingly well. That is all. By your leave, I will excuse myself. First off, that oh, nice kills. Award XP. Push Volk up. Could have done better, Volk. We'll push Salt up. Oh! That level up. Void. Go ahead and take from the convoy one of the master seals. Because we'll level you up in the next map for sure. And promote you for that matter. Um, I mean, let's got the most work in. 13, 11, 
Mordecai 17. Ugh, crap. I think we'll give it to Lilith. Give, 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 and give. And give, 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 and give. Steel sword. So the Debbie Band is awesome because it allows them, it allows units to, a Lagoo's unit to maintain their transformation indefinitely. And since we seem to be using Leth the most, instead of Mordecai, we'll go ahead and give it to her for now. Everybody else seems to be still doing all right as far as weapons and whatnot. was it? Were you treated roughly? Did they attempt to punish you? No. There was nothing. And the Apostle? I thought she'd be some old hag, but she's just a kid. Really, she's even shorter than I am. L little one, you must lower your voice and watch your tongue. What? Why? Rest easy, Moron. Everyone in this room is with me. The Apostle has no ears here. That is good. Moron? Speaking ill of the Apostle here is considered treasonous. Keep it up, and they'll kill you. Or threaten to. What? Little one. While we are here, please choose your words with more care than you have shown. I beg of you. Oh, right. Right, I understand. For the goose, you seem to know more about court etiquette here than my fellow Bjork Cormac. Ugh. That's cause cause I don't know much about any of this stuff, that's all. It is no matter, little one. Like, the reason I am familiar with these customs of the Benyon nobles is I myself was once a slave. What? Oh no. For generations, my family served as slaves to one house. They were wealthy and powerful, senators all. As a child, I was raised never to question my station as a slave. From the day I was born, the most grueling physical labor was as natural as breathing. I knew nothing else. To ensure we were liked by our masters, we were drilled in the etiquette of polite society until it became second nature. We were slaves. We did what we could to live as long as we could. The most important thing was not to incur the wrath of our masters. If we displeased them, we were punished. If we were lucky, we were beaten. If we were unlucky. Moron, that's enough. I am sorry. Lord Ike. If a former slave like myself is present, all of you will be judged, scorned, and looked down upon. I came here to ask you if you would take care of something for me. I would have you take care of the little one. Why would you say such a thing? You were born a Lagoo slave, and you're not allowed to be free. That's not right. 
That's why we promised each other we'd make we'd change all of that. We made a promise. Like Uz, like Bjork, would build homes and plant fields. Families would live together in peace and freedom. That's the world we dreamed of. That's a dream that belongs to us as former Legri slaves. We don't need the help of another Bjork. What? <laughs> Little one. Does it really warrant that much concern? Huh? Since I first arrived here in Benyon, it's something that's been bothering me. If you're born into a noble house, you're a noble. If your parents are a slave, they're a slave. Do you think a person's worth is decided at the moment of their birth? That's... I can't understand a country where that passes for normal. You just can't. Those don't sound like the words of somebody working for Princess Crimea. Princesses are princesses because they're born into royal families, right? Are you going to deny that? No, you're right. Valencia, she is a princess. I don't think we've treated her with more res respect than any other employer we've had, but... Huh, funny. We addressed her as princess the entire time, but I never really considered what it meant. From where I stand, I think you've been blessed. You were born a Bjork, raised in a country with lenient social structure, and live an enviable life. It's so hard, I... No matter how I try, I never, I'll never fully understand your pain. But listen, I didn't treat Alincia any different after I learned of her heritage. I'm not going to think of you or treat you differently just because you happen, just because you used to be a slave. It's not going to happen. You, you're you, and I'm free to think of it that way if I want, right? More, there's nothing anyone can do about your past, about the burdens you carry. And I know I don't know everything that's been going on, but you shouldn't be trying to push Cormac away. He's dedicated to you, and being with you is his choice. It's part of his freedom. I see now. You will go and find him. If meeting those in the temple is uncomfortable, I can go and bring him back. What do you think? No, I can do it. I have a good nose. Tracking the young one's scent while avoiding other Bjork is an easy task. I see. I, I want... I mean, never mind. May our friendship be true and endure. I share your sentiment. Our troop will have you for as long as you wish. What the? Um, who are you? How long have you been a member of my troop? I joined after the Battle of the Sands. My name is Stefan. I apologize for not introducing myself earlier. Why are you here? It's part, in part because I'm curious, but mostly it's the guiding hand of fate that has led me to you. Huh? In the desert, I watched the dance of your sword. You have a unique style, but is incomplete, filled with hesitation. You have recently lost your teacher, no? Uh... Luckily, your foundation is quite strong, which is why I can be of service. Your technique, how powerful will it be when perfected? I would like to know. H who are you? You can learn the dance of blades from me without knowing my history, can you not? What say you? Let your heart decide. Study! I understand. If you can help me perfect my technique, I will gladly accept an invitation to learn from you. Then prepare yourself. Come, attack me with all your strengths. <laughs> I freaking love Stefan. <laughs> He's so cool. Um, I have a couple different skills, but none of which I really want to assign to anybody at the moment. Actually, that does remind me. Outfit, because I do not want Stefan using that sword. Give him a steel blade as well. Now that I think about it, Soren. I'm gonna give you another light, or another wind tone, just in case. Missed. Just 
two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna make sure we have like ten or twelve extra voluntaries. As well as an extra mend, an extra heal. Don't necessarily need to worry about that. Let us start the next map. Is this the place? Yes, it is. It's rather heavily guarded. Even so, I think a direct attack would be our best chance of gaining entrance. Halt! Who goes there? What are you doing? This villa is property of Duke Tatus, Senator of the Empire. No trespassing! I am Ike of the Grail Mercenaries. Under orders from the Apostles, we've been charged with investigating the Duke. What? The Apostle sent you? We'll wait here a moment. All right, brother. We'll sneak in. We'll sneak around out here and see what we can see. Good idea. Leave it to us. If we get stopped, we can talk our way out of it. All right, Miss. Let's get going. Yeah. What is it that I hear that you lads claim to be here on the apostles' business? We have a letter here that bears her seal. Hmm. Well. I see. It appears genuine. Very well. I am in a position to ask exactly or am I in a position to ask what exactly I'm suspected of doing? We are here by the Apostles' lead. Do you honestly intend to make us discuss this private matter outside? Oh! No. No, of course not. Never. I would never insult. Please, could come inside. Oh? Slavery? Me? The apostle would honestly accuse me of such an unfashionable thing as slaveholding? Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! Do you claim no knowledge of such a thing? I've shown you every nook and nook of my mansion, every cranny. I've been most thorough, have I not? And you saw no trace, not a single sign of any lagoons here, did you? That is true. This, accus this accusation is absolutely ridiculous. To think that I, a bishop who serves only the Apostles' will, would do anything to violate our country's Emancipation Act. Be certain that you tell the Apostle everything. Tell her that Duke Tannis is upright and clean-handed. There is not even a shadow of a falsehood in my noble eyes. Look into them deeply, my boy, and tell me what you see. Hmm? Well? Ugh! Hey, stop that! Back off! We have little choice, do we? I think it's would be best if we left for the time being. Hey, halt! You can't go in there! Ah! Ike! Missed. What is it? Ike! I saw him! In a room on the top floor of this building! I saw someone! I think he was one of the bird tribe! He looked like he was trying to jump out of a window, but he was forced away from it and back into a room. What? What? What is this? A child babbling about? Someone from the bird tribe. Can you describe him? Um, he had long hair. It was sparkling like gold, and his skin, it was so pale, almost translucent. Oh, and his wings, they were pure white. Is that accurate, Tatani? It is. I saw him as well. That can only mean there's a member of the Heron clan in this place. According to books, only members of the royal Heron family possess white wings. It appears there's at least one room we have yet to see. What's it going to be, Duke Tannis? You can cooperate and show us this room you somehow forgot, or... Gods! Kill them all! Don't let a single one escape! So this is how you want to play it, eh? I thought it might come to this. Mercenaries, it's time!
Live Dan hears the sounds of battle. You dare bring conflict into Bishop Oliver's home? My aunts will make you pay for your impudence. Um, shit. Yep. Chests. And doors. And Dev Dan. A child character or Soren. Okay. So, I'm bringing Soren, so that works out perfectly. Mordecai, you're going to have to sit out because we'll bring South with us. I mean, honestly, that's the best option to really go. At least because uh, out of people that I'm trying to level and whatnot. Fight. Maya. Nefane. Gaitry. Make use of that word staff. Oh, I should probably check all of these guys now that I think about this one. Uh, Gamble skill? Okay. Heavy spear, spear. Oh, nothing is, is drastically... Oh, crap. Rolf, do your thing. Bad level up, Rolf. Bad, bad, bad.
Haha. <laughs> Go south. Ward. There we go, give Void a little bit of XP. Decent level up. I'll take it. I will take it. Seventeen plus seventeen is thirty-four. <laughs> this is going to be kind of mean, I'm not going to lie. We're going to boost his resistance and then send him up here to just wreck these two mages.
no damage. And then you get nuked. Well, he didn't get nuked, but things did happen. Gotta get up to that door. Grab sword and blast the mage. It's still below this. Again with the magic staff, Wolf, like the hell. Oh, bad guys coming up the backside. You know what? Well, actually. Actually, no, yeah. We'll do it this way. We'll just leave Boyd and... Um... Gaytree down. No, because Gaytree needs to go down too. Oscar's not there. Well, who's got the highest level? And Maya. Blink. Who's got what? Ooh, a killer box.
should end up okay-ish, I think. See, that works out perfect. Ow. Okay. Oh, Wrath. Her skill Wrath activated. That makes more sense. There we go. If I get him a level up during the map, then I won't give him bonus XP this time around. gonna let these two come down here and do their thing. And that's basically it. Thieves. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, we're gonna have to make some real quick moves. Okay, not bad, Soren. Use the 
physic. I'd rather Dietrich not get absolutely jacked up by something. You plinkin' plinker. Hey, Silver Lance. Indeed, is very nice on the silver lights. Ha! Boy, you shall promote on the next turn. It will be glorious.
they should work with. <laughs> no damage. Shit, 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 shit. That means I've got like two turns. Like I've got this turn and I've got one more turn to take that stupid thief out. One, shot two, uh, so you gotta be careful, uh, dead dead. Equip it. Okay, that might work. It might draw him over so I can recruit him. <laughs> Boyd is now a warrior. There you go, Oscar. I don't know, with my wall going on right here, should be able to make quite a bit actually happen. Forgiveness, please. Dev Dan will try to restrain himself. Yeah. 
Yes, go Oscar. Okay, a bolting. I mean, while that would be useful, I'm not all that torn up about missing it. <laughs> Boy, it is now a monster. First and foremost, Ralt. Okay, maybe not Ralt. Let's come back. This won't do. Looks just like you aren't supposed to be fighting here. What was that? And who are you supposed to be? Devden is not supposed to be in here. Devden was in prison for looking at the flower. The punishment for trespassing is to work here for an entire year without pay, unfortunately. And then? Are you telling me this so that I will let you go? A moment. Wait a moment. Devden does not fight children. If that's true, then why not switch sides and join us? If you become a member of Grail Mercenaries, we would pay you for your services. That would be an honor. Please, allow DevDen to join me. Our contract is complete, then. I will pass along the terms of our agreement to our Commander Ike. Now, now then, I expect you to do your best. Understood, DevDen is a very hard one. Okay, nobody else. Boyd also can move a crap ton now. Alright, I'm less concerned about the bolting, so. I would rather get the physic if possible. And honestly, I might be able to stop the uh, stop the thief. <laughs> there you go, Rolf. Has that chest key? Rolf. 
Rolf has the chest keys. Okay, Rolf can go in there and get that. There we go. Get, get, give Gaytree some XP too. Gatry, come on. And if I want to, I can do that, but I don't really want to. Okay, that's a great level up for you, Oscar. Speed, if tacked on, would have been even better. But you know what? I'll take it. Full guard. What does that do? An item, when equipped, negates any bonus damage a weapon might have dealt. Oh! Whew.
shove you. Shove you. Yeah, she might get it. And we win. Ah, oh, so close to a level. Nice, Nevinet. Good job. Decent level up. Hey, you got a Draco shield too. That just raises defense. That'll be nice. Then who do I want to get the kill? Probably Gaytree. I don't think he's actually gotten both of them yet. I'm strong enough to steal it. Okay. But I'm strong enough to kill him and take it. Damn it, so you were so close. This is the domain of my master, Bishop Oliver, the Duke of Tapas. You will learn that no one impugns his honor and lives to walk away. Oh, don't worry. Gets to double though. That's not cool. Yeah, screw it. Take it, Nephany. What? What fate is this? Is it just punishment for my complacency in this evil? Yes. Yes, it is. Hey, we got the spear. I can get your butt up here. You're already wasting too much time on this man.
But we did manage to get all of the treasure, so that's a plus. Seize and clear the map. Ah! Oh, my sweet, beautiful little bird, don't be frightened. Come, let us fly away together. Stay away from me, you filthy fat man. Ugh. Come quietly, you belong to me. I will not give you up. No one shall take you from me. Though the price may be my life, I will never cooperate with you. Hey, where are you, Duke Tannis? Are you in here? No, no, no. Duke Tennis. Who are you? Ah. You, Rodicerus. Are you in harm? We've come to help you. Your injury? Did that man do that to you? This wound must be tended to. Stay back. But, do not approach me, cursed human. Grail mercenaries have returned. Ah, Master Ike, it is good to see you well. How went the mission? Did you unearth any meaningful proof? Where is the Apostle? Master Ike? We must speak with the Apostle. Where is she? Apostle Sanaki is in the garden, having a pleasant conversation with Princess Elincia. I will go directly and see if she will meet with you. Please wait here. In the garden? Great. Ah, uh, Master Ike, no, you must have behaved so. You will cause such problems. Apostle, what you? What are you doing? How dare you approach me unannounced? This is most un inappropriate, and I will not. What has happened, my lord? Ike? All of it. I want to hear all of it now. What are you talking about, Master Ike? We must not speak to the apostle in a discourteous fashion. Twenty years ago, something happened in Serenus Forest. Something terrible. I want to know. What, Master Ike? What happened 20 years ago? You found one of the Heron clan and the Serenus Noble Nobles. One of them still lives? But that such a thing, Apostle Sanaki. Tell me. That is that is a very difficult problem. How to impart this tale? It would appear no one is willing to begin this story. That being so, I would open this matter. I would open with what is commonly known in my if you find this acceptable. And you are? It is a friend of mine, Nasir. If you know something, I would hear it. When you are done, the Apostle can clarify. Agreed. Hmm. It begins with the assassination of the previous Benyon Apostle. It was 20 years ago, one year after the, the de Declaration of Emancipation was made. The leader at the time was Apostle Misaha. Who was adored by the public and or who was more adored by the public than any apostle before or since. When she was assassinated, the citizenry was citizenry was racked with grief. All of Benyon despaired. And then a rumor began to circulate that the assa er, and then a rumor began to circulate that the assassination was the work of the Serenus Harris. In the twinkling of an eye, the rumor spread throughout the Benyon County. One night shortly thereafter, it happened. The citizens grew violent. They massed at the edge of Serenus Forest, home of their supposed enemy, and set it to burn. The crowd raged for three nights, and in the end, the Heron clan was lost. But their involvement was just a rumor, wasn't it? Why, why did they... Oh, the shame of it. Apostle, the remainder of the tale is yours. You stand as the Empress of Benyon. You are responsible for the acts of your citizens, are you not? False. The accusation was completely false. The assassination of the Apostle was not the work of the Serenus clan? That is correct. <clears throat> the Heron clan possessed no fighting skills. And their tribe survived by living, in a, living a life of peace and piety within their forest. Unlike other Legos, they never focused on developing their strength or pur for purposes of combat. Anyone with any knowledge of Legos would have known such a thing. At the very least, the citizens of Benyon would have known this. However, they had lost their leader, and in their grief, they cared little for the truth. They were merely looking for some way to vent their rage and despair. Isn't that true, 
but possible. Please, Lord Nasir, your tone of voice. It's all right, Princess Alencia. He speaks the truth, be it with a sharpened tongue or no. Like, the bird tribes of Phoenicia's target only bend you on ships with their fires. The ravens of Kilvis are after cargo, so they attack everyone with equal vigor. The Hawk clans, however, hold the Heron clan as best brethren, and still remember the false accusations and their brutal murder. The Heron at Oliver's mansion, he slapped my hand away when I tried to help him. He had such hatred in his eyes. When he leapt from the window, he spoke to me. Remember the genocide, he said. Twenty years have passed, but I will never forgive what you did. Such needless pain. It may sound like utter hypocrisy, but my people deeply regret the actions of that horrific night. We stole the Heron clan from this world. Every time we see the blackened forest, our grave sin comes back to haunt us. Apostle, you are honorable. The majority of the senators have done their best to banish all memory of the Serenus of the Fly. Yet, you have resisted. This is That is your intent, is it not? You are not like them. You are attempting to take responsibility for the actions of your people. To undo the wrongs of the past, you launched your own investigation into the Lagu's emancipation issue. You've even gone so far as to hire outsiders like Ike and his mercenaries to expose the problem, haven't you? We're going to turn that down a little bit because holy crap, that is loud. There we go. I feel better about that volume. Princess Alencia. Yes. I would like once more to make use of your escorts. Would you get me this boon? Of course. Er, that is, if Ike and his group agree. I have no objection to your proposal. Depends on what you want. The member of the Heron clan you met. I want you to find him. I want to meet him. I want to speak with him. If that is your wish, we will do it. In any case, we let that monster Oliver slip through our grasp. We'll handle both tasks at the same time. I'm counting on you. Chapter 17 Daybreaks. Phoenicia's fault. Is that it? Wait, there's more. It seems Prince Rysen was able to escape Duke Tennis's villa and make his way safely to Sarenus Forest. However, we have word that Tennis's men have entered the forest in hopes of recapturing the prince. We've not a moment to waste. Please, O King of Hawks, reach out your mighty talons and strike down those wretched humans and rescue Prince Rysen. Why did what break? Lunar. I implore you, your majesty, take wing at once. Why is Nesala not here? That, er, uh, his highness must not have see be seen here at this time. It's... What's going on, you old buzzard? King Kilvis is the White Prince's friend, isn't he? Oh, the day. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Very funny, Lunar. Well, how do I put this? It's, well, it's all very complicated. I care not for excuses. If anything happens to Rice, his blood will be spilled. Oh no, please, there's no cause for worry. Duke Tannis treats his works of art with delicacy so extreme, it would be best to be called abnormal. He would never let any harm fall to Prince Rice. He probably can't even bring himself to touch him. The king himself told me so. That is the only reason he accepted this proposal. Proposal? Ah, um, what I mean is, is, uh... Hold it. You crows set the prince up. S set up? Set up? Oh, no, no. Well, not exactly. Um, please don't hurt me. So that's the truth of it, eh? They saw the treated Ryson like a piece of merchandise and sold it to a human. No, that's not. The only one who referred to him as merchandise was Duke Tannis. We never... It doesn't matter. 
Claim your ignorance does not grant you innocence. You treated Ryson like a trinket in a public market. Oh dear. If Ryson hadn't escaped on his own, perhaps the crow key would have rescued him when things cooled down. Regardless, Ryson trusted him, trusted in his friend, and followed him into the trap. And they saw a spit on the friendship. That I cannot forgive. The assessment of this old bird is correct. I am the one, nothing more. But please, I beg you, temper your outrage. Let it cool. You're unbelievable. What is it with you crows anyway? Everything you do is so dirty and deceptive. You will never understand your ways. Do you hear me, Grey Wings? I hear you well, young hawk. But our nation, our nation has, it has its own issues. Please, this is not the time to yell at a tired old man. You must hurry to Prince Ryson's side. Once he is safe, you can punish me any way you see fit. Tear me limb from limb if you wish. But please, go to Prince Ryson, I beg of you. This begging is unseemly and unwanted. You will rescue Ryson regardless of this pathetic show of tears. Return to Kilvis and report these events to your cursed king. Tell him that when this is over, King Tabarn of Phoenicia will be paying him a visit. Yes, your highness. <sighs> I know he deserves it, but I still feel bad for, the, for badgering that old coot. Your majesty, what will we do now? Look, use your ears to pick up the sound of Bryson's wings and tell me the direction from which it comes. At once. Janeth, use your eyes to peer between the trees and find me a road. You got it. Human scum. To think, if you think to replay that night from 20 years ago, you'll get no quarter from me. Mm hmm. Is that you, Sora? You're up early. Actually, I'm always awake at this time. Really? Yes. You're the one who's up earlier than normal. I want to finish our mission today. I think my nervous energy woke me up. I understand. The last two days spent searching Serenus Forest for that or Serenus Forest for that heron have been frustrating and fruitless. I'm sure he's in there somewhere, but I agree. And Duke Tennis's men are still hunting away. They must think the heron is there as well. The only place left is the forest heart. That's where we should go today. With luck, we may finally find locate our target. I get the feeling it's going to be a long day. Ike, I'd like to report the results from our last battle. There were no deaths and no injuries beyond our capabilities to heal. Everyone performed exceedingly well. That is all. By your leave, I will excuse myself. Dev done. La la la. La 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 la. Hmm. La la hmm la la dee da dee dee la Um Hey there you have a minute Oh Captain How are you today? It's Commander, not Captain. Well, you seem to be enjoying yourself. It's because this garden is so lovely. Dev Dad loves all plants and flowers. How about you, Commander? You're alright, I suppose. That makes Dev Dad rather sad. Alright is not a very strong feeling. It is boring. You should be more emotional, Commander. Even things you're used, even things you're used to, will show you something new if you look hard enough. And discoveries are exciting. That's what life is all about. At least that's what Dev Dad thinks. Some disagree, and that makes Dev Dad upset. You may be onto something. In Crimea, when my father was still alive, I think I was more open to such things. But now I just don't have the time. Honestly, all I can think about is defeating Dan no energy left to spend on flowers. If you talk like that, you will never defeat Dayan. What did you say? The war is new. If you are already so focused on preparations, you'll wear out before the fighting begins. Hold on a minute. Here you are. You've been in Benyon for a while now, so tell me something. Why are you still here? Are you pretending to be our friend so you can lance us in the back? You have to understand. I I didn't know anything. I was born and raised in the Talregid region of Dan. It's a very remote area. My father was a soldier, and I grew up thinking that I too would one day be a soldier, a soldier to make my father proud. My life was simple. I questioned nothing, doubted nothing. Do you know what the first thing we're taught in Dan schools? 
Subhumans are evil. Subhumans are the enemy. Subhumans must be eradicated. The army stages periodic subhuman hunts. We find refugees from Benyon hiding in our mountains and our mountains and our forests. You participated? You don't get it. It's just how things are in Dan. No one taught me the word Magus. No one taught me the subhumans could be could be like this. No one cared. When I saw that bird saw the bird tribes at, at sea, I was convinced that the teachings were true. They were inhuman monsters. But later I saw the dragon push your ship off the reef, and it confused me. What if I had been raised to believe a lie? My heart pounded at the thought of it, and my doubts grew only only grew with time. So, I decided to remain aboard in order to ascertain the truth. That's your true motive, isn't it? How did you know? I've known a lot of soldiers. None would ever accept charity from an enemy. It would, it would wound their pride. They obviously have pride to spare, so I knew there was some other factor at play. Oh. Well, have you reached a conclusion? What will you do? I want to stay here. At first, I thought I could protect my old life, that I could prove that subhumans were monsters. But I was wrong, and now things are different. The subhu- I'm sorry. The Lagoos. I want to know the truth about them, and I need to base that on what I see, not what I'm told by others. In that case, you can stay as long as you like. I appreciate it. I think meeting all of you was a very good thing. Commander Eck, a priest from Duke Tannis' villa insists in speaking with you. Yes, what is it? Um, Master Mercenary, it's my understanding you you pursue Duke Tannis? I feared you're searching Serenus Forest in hopes of capturing him. And if I am? Duke Tannis' property borders the forest, and he knows much about its layout. For quite some time now, he's been sending men into the forest to look for any herons who may still live there. I see. So they're saying his troops know the forest well. I, too, have been taken to the forest. You? Why take a priest? He thought the herons would make themselves known if a priest, if a priest called to them. He's also taken dozens of chaste maidens and tried having them call to the herons as well. But he didn't find any, did he? No, and yet this time, the joy he expressed after paying such an exorbitant price for the Serenus Royal was apparent. It was not natural. The Duke has gone mad to think he would dare defy the Apostle. He is damned. And here you stand. You're going to tell me what you remember about the forest, even though it means you're betraying Tannis, right? Hmm, you read me well. To begin with, the heart of the forest is divided into three large sections, maybe more. It's nearly colorless and difficult to see far. The muddy water pulled at our feet. Progress was slow. Many of the soldiers around me were afraid that they didn't bring enough supplies. They said a person would need them if he got lost, because getting out again would not be an easy task. What can you tell me about Duke Tennis's forces? There were a lot of them. He has soldiers of every type. It's said that his mounted unit it said that his mounted units and magic users were especially vile. So at the very least, you should be prepared to deal with those two groups. Thank you. My parents. They both participate in the Serenus Massacre. They're nearing the end of their lives, but even now they lie awake at night and beg the goddess for forgiveness. I became a priest in order to help with my parents, but then I was assigned to work at Duke Tannis' villa. I knew his terrible deeds, but his position as an imperial senator frightened me. I've been silent for far too long. My master mercenary... You must rec rescue that Serenus youth. I beg of you. May the goddess guide your hand. Don't worry. I have no intention of letting the, that villain steal him from my, before my very eyes. Yes, talk to Soren. Do you have a second, Soren? What is it, Ike? What's wrong? You've been quiet and moody for days. What's going on? Um, well, it's... Yes... It's nothing. You've never worried about who you are, have you? Your family, where you come from? Who I am? Well, not really. No, no. I guess I don't understand what you're getting at. I have a father and a mother. I don't remember much about her, but otherwise, no complaints. It must be nice to have loving parents. You need people to experience your childhood to help shape the person you will become. Without an adult around to affirm and support them, a child can't really know which path to take, or who he really is. Don't you have any memory of your parents? No, the woman, the woman who raised me was not my birth mother. 
and she wasn't all that fond of me anyway. My earliest memories are of her saying, Why me? The world isn't fair. Or, Stay away from me, child. No love, no affection. She took care of me out of a sense of duty that she didn't really possess. When I was about four, a nearby sage came by and asked to take me in. He said I possessed rare magical talent. I remember the day clearly. My caretaker was delighted to give me up. In fact, she seemed almost delirious with pleasure. Smiling like a madwoman, she handed me over. The sage even gave her gold as compensation. Not that it was necessary. No sort. I had no idea. The sage was old, and he knew that death would come for him soon. His only goal was to teach his art to an apprentice. As time was short, he put me through terribly rigorous mag magical magic training. We worked day and night without cease. I didn't even have time to think about who I really was, but it was still a better life than I had, than I had ever known. When the sage died two years later, I had acquired much magical skill, perhaps too much for a child of my age. At any rate, once I had eaten all the food in the sage's hovel, I left and walked for days to find help. Upon reaching civilization, I came to another realization. I couldn't speak, not a word. Sorry. Oh, I could read and write better than most of the villagers, and I could understand what they said. I just couldn't talk. I couldn't help it. The woman and the sage both used to hurl words at me, unkind words, usually. But I never needed to answer, so... Sorry. Huh? Well, I apologize, Ike. I should not have made you listen to such nonsense. Sorry, it's not nonsense. It's awful. It's the most terrible thing I've ever heard. Where did this happen? Was it in Benyon? No, but there's more. I haven't told you about my parents. No, that's enough. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Wait, Soren. Soren! Blast! Okay, let's see here now. Reward experience. A little bit for self. Level 10. And where's Volk? And a full level for Volk. Okay, so let's see here. Number one, give that up. You don't want to use those yet. You can re-equip that. You're fine. No one can really use the spear, so I'm not going to worry about it. Give, give, give. Give, give, give. And give. Weapon level D. That's weapon level D. Okay. So, dev den. You will give up the heavy spear because you're not going to be worth it. I'm not going to use you. Oh, ho! Now there's all sorts of interesting things here. Luckily, I still have all sorts of money. Mod, I'm going to use you to sell some ships. Sell items. Oh, I didn't actually have to. Okay, number one 
shop, board steps. To the convoy. Plenty of ward staffs so that Mist can continually use them to regain, to keep gaining XP. Hmm. She can trade on that one. I have a long sword already. Another pull axe would not necessarily be a bad thing, though. Um, let's trade. Let's see here. Where did Gatry go? There he is. Polex. Take the long sword. Give him a night killer as well. And we will give Gaytree one as well. Stefan, you're just going to be good backup no matter where you go. Um, Jill really can't get anything too great at the moment. All right, I think we are good. I just remembered something else. I think this is the most money I've ever had by this point in the game. Only because of the fact that I normally go really, really crazy with the whole custom weapon thing. And I'm not doing that this time around. Alright. We'll at least start the next map see how far we get into it. I believe this is the place we were where we ended our search yesterday. I realized something a couple days ago. Even in this forest, you always know exactly where you are, don't you? Hmm? How do you do that? I think it's the lack of color, but these woods are all starting to look the same to me. Yes, that's a problem. 
Ike, we're approaching a large clearing. I think we should have the Apostle and some of the others wait here. Good idea. Even if we find the Heron today, there's no need for them to tramp through the forest with us. Hmm. We're going to head deeper into the forest to continue the search. Please wait here. If we find the Heron, we'll send for you immediately. I understand. My Lord Ike, everyone, please be careful. We're counting on you. Sigrun, Tanner, may I entrust the princess to your care? Of course. You have no need to worry. We will protect her with our lives. Very well. Until later. All right, Grail Mercenaries, move out. Gah. Haven't you fools found my precious little bird yet? I've no doubt the poor thing is even now quivering with loneliness and cold. Duke Tannis, I've received word that the mercenaries who invaded your villa are in this forest. Blast! Those wretches, they're here to steal my bird. Their souls are black with greed and jealousy. I have found beauty in cards, and I will not relinquish it. Only I, Duke Tannis, can appreciate its worth. Um, I'm sure that's true, Your Grace. But what about the mercenaries? What should, you, what should we do about them? Hunt them like dogs. Leave none, let none leave this forest alive. They will rob me of my prize. Or they will not rob me of my pride, my prize. But, Your Grace, they serve the, at the pleasure of the Apostle herself. Striking them would be... Leave the Apostle to me. I can deal with her once this is finished. All I need from you is silence and obedience. Is that clear? Yes, Your Grace. I beg of your pardon. There they are. Do as Duke Oliver commanded. Slay them where they stand. Let none leave this forest alive. Not man, woman, or child. Not the Duke's soldiers again. I think it's about time we put an end to these fools. Listen up, everyone. Let's end this here. Okay, so I'm not going to take Boyd for the moment because I kind of need to, you know, try to level other characters. That's it for that. Repositioned. Put Geetry up at the front. Jill and Oscar can be at the back. Nithane up front. Maya that way. Actually, I'd rather do that. And then if I am correct, ooh, don't return to this. Um, Jill. If I give you, where is it? Oh, there it is, the full guard. Give up the Lagoose guard for now. I think that'll make her immune to bow. The bow bonus damage, anyways. Alright. Let's get some levels, folks.
Ta-da! Oh, hey, you leave my archer alone. How dare you? That'll work out perfectly. Eh, not terrible. Also not great, but not terrible. Okay. Ha, there we go. Now I can find out what was it discovered his range. Plink. Plink. Jerks.
Ooh. One's a killing edge. Yeah, no. I'm not screwing around with that. Is still needing kills. There you go, you missed. We'll get you leveled. <laughs> okay, luckily that's the one with the killing edge. So, nothing to worry about there. Really, Oscar? The hell, man. Man. Soren nukes him. Even though he didn't need to nuke him. have a lot of uses of that left. There we go.
bling. Gotta love that about mounted units. Son of a monkey. Ripperoni and Chizoni. So, I'm going to go ahead and call the stream there for tonight, um, largely due to the fact that I've hit my normal right around three hour mark-ish, and i got to go take care of the dogs. But also, this is technically the start of like a big, long, four-part thing. Like It's all one chapter, but it's split into four parts. So, if we're lucky, in the next stream, we'll just be able to like do the entire forest in one go maybe it's a really really big maybe to be perfectly honest yes I will make sure that they have water blood not um, let's see who is available for raiding um, and we'll raid Arkoff. He's only got 15 people. Raid now. Right. Good night, everybody. <laughs>